Libra, this is Soul. And Libra, this is going to be your general forecast for the week of January 23rd through the 29th, 2017. The messages will also be for Libra Moon and Libra Rising. Okay, so let's just get right into your messages, Libra. Uh, this is... For some of you, it's going to be a, a tough, difficult week, okay? And we're going to start the energy off with the Three of Cups in the reverse. So this is... Uh, a card of energy related to, you know, of course, happiness and love when it's in the upright. It's not. It's in the reverse. The mere fact that it's showing up in the reverse as your starting overall energy could be indicated from past actions or, you know, um, time that when it comes to relationships, because I'm getting a couple messages here, when it comes to relationships, and, and, you know, of course, the three represents a love triangle for me. It will always represent that. Um, but it also could be indicated that when it comes to relationships in general, that someone is not a happy camper or wasn't a happy camper. And it may have been um, some sort of a, something that happened emotionally upsetting even though it's the cups, I'm pulling in that it's the energy that is possibly connected to Libra as opposed to the energy of Libra feeling this type of way. But it could go either way. Uh, I'm just trying to fill in the gaps and give you as much you know information that I possibly can highlight in the most important things that are coming to me. But someone is getting over not being happy when it comes to a um uh, possible love triangle this too is a card of endings of celebration with someone or several people so that could be you know someone's birthday who has passed um someone's anniversary it could be an indication that if you were celebrating someone's anniversary or, or birthday it didn't go too well not only am I picking up an ending to an event, but that event didn't bring you no know, happy emotional time spent with other people. Three of Cups. Love and emotions representing, excuse me, representing Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, male or female. So whether or not it was directly related to that energy uh, remains to be seen. It could be with any zodiac sign. Then the energy for this week here is still with that three of cups showing up in the reverse some of you have to be careful of your emotions unraveling um when it comes to relationships possibly um being upset because I'm getting like there's not an even exchange of mutuality here because the next card up is the nine of cups and this in the reverse as well. So normally the nine of cups in the upright is all about, uh, of course, love and emotions. And then also too is the wish card, the yes card uh, for, you know, it's usually the yes answer to any question that you may have that is related to um a relationship but also to the yes could be driven further um, to any questions that you may have uh, possibly related to a friendship related to uh, you know if you're going to get that job in the reverse it's usually no so I feel that it's, there could be someone asking questions about a relationship and the fact that this nine of cups shows up next to the three of cups, then that brings in all of those emotions um, and then makes you feel some type of way. If it's not your energy, then it's the energy of possibly the water signs or any zodiac sign. OK, it could be that Libra um, has turned down a relationship. Libra decided to leave a threesome. And the other and it's the energy of the other person feeling this type of way. So it's, I'm getting two things here. OK, so whatever 
the situation apply or however the situation applies to you. These are the messages that are coming through. But usually no. Somebody's feeling emotional in some type of way related to a relationship. It could also, too, because the cups do represent children. It could be something going on with children, um, you know, of Libra that may be water signs. It's just getting a lot of fluid stuff with these cups. I equate the nine of cups with the star card. Anything you hope for, wish for will be granted only though when it's in the upright position, when it's in the reverse, then it's like all those things that you hope for, wish for may not come to pass. So just keep that in mind. But I am getting the emphasis here of this could be an outright, you know, rejection, either Libra being rejected for a job a relationship or it's the energy around Libra either Libra you know rejected someone and they're feeling this energy here okay I can spend all day on this and get so many messages coming through with these cups in the reverse always in a reading I always like to see cups in the upright position because that's you know some sort of uh depending on the number of the cups, some sort of fulfillment, emotional fulfillment. But when these things are showing up and I say that it's some sort of rejection coming in here and the answer is no to anything that is close, personal or significant for you is because it's nine cups and that's a lot of emotional stuff. OK, now it's not the ten. But it's the nine. But that's still powerful energy that I'm picking up middle of the week. Now we have a major arcana major life events so it's the hermit so whatever's taking place here with these emotions here some of you either directly disconnect from others and take a step back sort of like um i never like to see the hermit um it's not really a negative card of energy but it's it's a time out it's like you know some readers say it's solitude and stuff but it's you know not necessarily going into the dark so that you can come out into the light. No, it's just you having to take a step back, still be functional and still connecting with others. But some of you are disconnecting uh, with others so that you can evaluate and assess your current life situation. If it's this energy coming through and it's related to I'm getting a very powerful rejection here. And this is what either Libra's doing or it could be the energy associated with Libra. OK, but I am reading for you. So I'm getting that it could be Libra that takes a step back or disconnect from others so that you could. Get a finger on what the you know, what is going on or what has happened or what could potentially happen with this three of cups, nine of cups energy showing up. And that's the start of your uh, reading. OK, so. And even so, this is only temporary because it's in the upright. And that means that whatever it is that you need to do to, you know, when it comes to assessments or evaluations, if it's something that's personal, a relationship, or if you didn't get that job that you wanted, or, you know, something didn't work out with a friend, or there's some sort of um, situation where, you know, possibly the kids were out of control and, you know, this is your energy here, taking that time out for yourself and cutting that that other energy off temporarily and then coming out with a, a clearer, brighter perspective. That's the uh, potential outcome of the hermit. OK, when it shows up in the upright. Now, this is the three of wands so i'm definitely getting here a relationship this is more focused on relationships at least the energy that i'm picking up okay now there could be the three of wands in the uh, reverse could be an indication where someone's refusing to let go of a love triangle and this is what the three of cups is showing up for in terms of that energy, not being a happy camper because of the situation. Now, if it's not involving a three, I mean, a love triangle, it could be that the three is showing up 
uh, outside of a relationship in general, not a good week to move forward with any uh, plans or ideas, okay? It may be that you still need this hermit energy and trying to um, assess, evaluate. Yes, yeah, it's an assessment or evaluation of a situation that is very, very, you know, excuse me, very close and personal for you. But somebody is refusing to leave or reluctant to leave a situation uh, involving another person. There's th there's three people here involving another person that is not um, outwardly beneficial towards them. So it's either Libra is attached and there's a third person or Libra single and then there's the attachment of another person now. Whether or not it's a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, male or female remains to be seen, but it could be with any zodiac energy. Somebody is not wanting to leave a situation that is not beneficial to. Th now, it could be that, yeah. They don't want to leave a situation that's not promoting growth. See, because I think if the three of wands was in the upright Friday going into the weekend, then that means that you, you're you either leaving that situation or someone's leaving you involving the threesome possibly. And then I would also say that whatever ideals or plans that you've laid down in the past, then it's a good week to move forward with that. Um, but because, and I say that because I just took notice of the ship. There's a ship here in this card. Okay. And just think of the three of, three of wands being in the upright as the ship moving. That's progression. When the card shows up in the reverse, that ship ain't going nowhere. It's like it's sinking. So maybe this is the explanation of the three of cups that your emotions are sinking. Or you're emotionally feeling some type of way. But I'm getting a relationship in general. That nine comes in here as powerful emotions in the reverse. The answer is no. Um, it's indicative of no. It doesn't necessarily off. You know, nothing is written in stone. But um, <laughs> because it's sitting next to the three of cups, I'm getting a definitely a, a strong rejection here and a strong no for a job, for a relationship, for a friendship um, coming through here. And then you go into a. Uh, you know, some sort of solitary moment or period. Okay. All right, Libra, I'm sorry. I wish I had better news to uh, deliver you, but y'all know how I am. I have to give it to you uh, as I see it and then try to explain it to you the best that I can. Okay. And I know that, you know, some comments will come through um, as I noticed, you know, with Aquarius. <laughs> uh, someone wrote in there that they would, love to hear my messages but because of my swallowing i'm like okay what the fuck does that mean anyway i have to keep it real so we're not going to always get those butter cards you know those buttercup cards and those fluffs um but i know as you know because i've been doing this for a while and usually um tuned in to what's what's happening this is going to hit someone i know it is uh, and whether you comment or not, it doesn't matter. It's going to hit someone. It's affecting someone because it's coming in powerful here for me. So with that said, this is your reading. And just know that whatever occurs is not like the end of the world. Um, you always have another day to you know, change anything. And this is the other thing too that maybe I need to include into my readings is that you have the potential of changing any outcome, no matter what I say. Okay. And then and, and furthermore, this is just a general reading. If you um want more clarity about a situation, then you know you can always contact me and then I'll get into it. Um uh, but this is general, so take what you can out of it, but there's something always positive and a negative reading okay that's my point wish you all a very safe upcoming week ahead libra until i talk to you again sending out a lot of love and light take care bye